For today's set of notes, you need a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and a highlighter. And go ahead and fold your paper uh, the left-hand side to the right-hand margin like you've done in the past. Don't forget to put your proper heading in the upper right-hand corner. The title for today's notes is, What is Location? And then go ahead and draw a line right down where you folded. On the left-hand side of your paper, let's go ahead and write the focus question, what is location? And notice that I put location in quotes because when we look at location and history, location has a very specific meaning. So here's the definition. Location tells you where a place is. A very simple one, but this is where it gets harder. There are two kinds of location. Absolute and relative. Now, using your highlighter, I'm going to underline. Let's uh, highlight some keywords here. Location, where, place. And then the fact that there are two kinds, absolute and relative. So let's break it down. On the left-hand side, let's go ahead and write our next focus question. What is absolute location? And then here's our definition. Absolute location is the exact location of a place. It is usually measured by using longitude and latitude. And then once again, let's take your highlighter. I'm going to underline. Absolute location is the exact location and it's usually measured by using longitude and latitude. Now we need to break it down even further. On the left-hand side, let's write our next focus question. What is longitude? The definition Longitude lines are imaginary lines that run north and south. These lines meet at the north and south poles. Longitude lines are sometimes referred to as meridians. And once again, let's take your highlighter. I'm going to underline. So longitude lines are imaginary lines that run north and south. And so these lines meet at the north and south poles. Sometimes they're referred to as meridians. 
Now I do want to draw what longitude lines look like. So on the right hand side of your paper, to the best of your ability, I do want you to draw a circle. And longitude lines run from the North Pole to the South Pole. So let's go ahead and draw our first longitude line from the North Pole to the South Pole. The North Pole is where Santa lives, and there is no land at the North Pole, it's only ice. The South Pole is where the penguins live, and that does have land. So longitude lines go from the North Pole to the South Pole. North Pole to the South Pole. Santa to penguin. Okay, and we'll draw it on the opposite side as well. North Pole, South Pole, Santa, penguins, North Pole, South Pole. So these imaginary lines go all the way around the world, touching at the North Pole and the South Pole. Now these lines are measured east and west of the main longitude line called the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian is zero degrees longitude. So everything to the right of the Prime Meridian is going east. Everything to the left of the prime meridian is going west. So all these lines are labeled with a W. And all these lines have degrees, and they're varied degrees until they meet all the way on the opposite side of the world at 180 degrees longitude. Now I need to turn my paper over so that I can uh, take notes on latitude. So um, if you need to turn your paper over, awesome. If not, then just keep it on the front. Again, fold your paper from the left-hand side to the right-hand margin if you need to. Let's go ahead and draw our line down the fold again. The left-hand side, here's our second question. What is latitude? Latitude lines are imaginary lines that run east and west. These lines are parallel and never touch another latitude line. Latitude lines are sometimes referred to as parallels. So once again, taking your highlighter, I'm just going to... So latitude lines are imaginary lines that run east and west. These lines are parallel and they never touch another latitude line, and sometimes they are referred to as parallels. So just like on the front, um, we do need to draw an example of latitude lines. So on the right-hand side, to the best of your ability, let's draw another circle. And latitude lines run east and west. The main latitude line that bisects the Earth, north and south, This is called the equator, and the degrees is zero degrees latitude. So latitude lines run east and west. Okay. 
and then everything that's going north of the equator is labeled with an N all the way up until you get to the North Pole, which is actually 90 degrees north latitude. That's the exact location of where Santa lives. So if we were to draw the latitude lines for the southern half, everything going below the equator or south, it's all labeled with an S until you get to the South Pole, which is 90 degrees south latitude, and that's the exact location of where the penguins live. So um, absolute location is when you take a longitude line and a latitude line, and where, where they meet that exact point where they intersect, that is the absolute location of a place. Now the last part of location is relative. So on the left-hand side, What is relative location? Here's a definition. Relative location describes or compares the location of two places. It is usually measured by using a compass. So let's go ahead and I'm going to underline and you're going to highlight relative location compares two places and it's usually measured by using a compass. So this is where you would use the directions north, south, east, and west. When you do relative location you are expected to be able to write a sentence to describe the place. So you might put, you know, some place is north of another place or some place is next to another place, or some place is in between two places, or even some places inside of two places. So when you're using relative location, um, you are using a compass, but you could also use prepositions like next to, in between, inside of. So um, once you're done taking these notes, don't forget to bring them back to class tomorrow so that we can apply them to our current unit.